Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the Oracle Steam Training. Most of you have been new to Accenture and start getting your Steam Training preference mail. So, it is really confusing for you in this new area, new stage to decide what stream you should choose for yourself which has better project experiences. So, without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> so the training duration for oracle people is of two months yes you have to only study for two months straight because after that you are going to get tagged into the project in this two months you have to be attentive for full 60 days because that's your training duration and in between you are going to have two mcq exams and the exam pattern will be like uh, 20 questions carrying 20 marks that is one question carrying one mark so to pass that exam you will require 60 percent average minimum average and that definitely equals to the 12 marks from 20. so within 10 days of joining only you start getting your steam preferences mail so if you are interested in learning cloud and oracle based kind of things if you had interest in data management systems or mongodb you should go for oracle because it has it has a lot of database related queries and oracle is simply awesome because it's easy to learn there, there are nothing much technical kind of things in it if you are getting oracle based projects you are definitely on the safer side forever because it has very easy and simple queries to run if you ever studied about dbms or rdbms during your college time then then you are going to find it very easy in your first learning stage so training duration will be of two months as i previously mentioned you will get modules from accenture learning team those modules will be with you forever if you have any doubts in between or you want to prepare for the exam you can go through those modules and just clarify your doubts apart from that you will be having a two month straight training also after that sme connects those are subject matter expert trainings and in those sessions also you can clarify your doubts trainers of oracle stream are very good very responsible after clearing out those two tests they will have to appear for the final test that will be mcq based only and in that you need to score 65 percent average nearly to clear that exam final test which will happen before you will get tagged into the project and to get project calls you should clear that assessment you if you have scored good marks in the previous two mcqs because oracle in my experience is very easy stream you should go for oracle if you are searching for a safer side of the career what if you fail what is the solution after that because mostly we see people that after doing all this also some people fail in final test so what after that so there is nothing to worry you get two more chances and those chances are called rt1 and rt2 that is retest one and retest two so if you fail in your final test of oracle stream training you get a mail your rt test has been scheduled by a learning team of accenture and you have to appear for that but the thing is in rt1 you will get full syllabus like from primers to the day you have completed your oracle training whatever syllabus has been covered from that day you will have to study for those concepts and still if you aren't able to clear rt1 or you missed by some minor mistakes and you will obviously going to get another chance that is rt2 and your rt2 will be scheduled by the learning team only if you fail in rt1 so just don't be afraid of anything because you will get two more chances after your final test but yes if you fail your rt2 also there are no more chances guys this is it this is the limit and after that people say that you have to appear or report to hr and hr will decide what to do with you because they are not going to give you more chances so thank you for watching guys if you like it then please subscribe to my channel and share with others whosoever need this Thank you so much. See you until next time. Bye-bye.